Can I create displacement materials without using tools different from Unreal? Hey there, creators. Welcome back to our Unreal Engine 5 tutorials series. Today, we are tackling a crucial topic, displacement mapping. Ever wondered how to add depth and realism to your materials? That's where displacement mappings shines. But first, what is displacement mapping? It's the secret sauce behind lifelike surfaces, turning flat textures into 3D wonders with bumps, ridges, and intricate details. From landscapes to characters, mastering displacement mapping is key to making your creations pop. Now, can we do this in Unreal? Before answering this question, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and make that ring with that bell. Keep yourself updated with every tutorial related to Unreal. And if you wish to continue the exploration of the modeling tools, subscribe to Woolen.com and get a coupon for our most recent course, Modeling with Unreal Engine 5, no Maya or Blender needed. Now, let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to create an example of uh, displacements of materials using the modeling tools of Unreal. And for that, I'm going to first open Unreal 5.3.2 and create a very simple project to present this example. So I'm going to Games. I wish the third person. And let's call this one Displacement and Create. Perfect. Now I'm going to open the content browser, and as usual, to keep my things in order, I will create a folder that I will call game, and inside games, another folder where I will have a maps, and another for the materials. Call this one materials. Excellent. Now I'm going to add a new level. Let's make a very simple, basic level and save this level. Inside games, maps, map, material. Excellent. Now I'm going to download a material. You have a multiple sources where you can download the free materials. In this case, I went to Polyhaven and where you can find thousands of great materials. And for my particular example, I'm looking for terrains, rocks, and I need something very, very rocky because I want to create this displacement to be, to be very clear for you. So I'm going to take something like this one. I think it's perfect. Let's download it. Once it's downloaded, let me open this. WinRAR, extract all files. We'll say at this same uh, place. So here are my textures. Excellent. Now I can't download. I can close this window and let's add these textures to the materials folder. I'm going to drag, select all this and drag them to the materials folder. What we have at this moment are different textures that we're going to work with them differently to create the materials. But first, let me open every one of them. Let's start with this one. And as you can see, we has has alpha channels false, so I can compress without alpha, and the rest will be just like that. Perfect. This is the displacement material. Let me open it here, and as you can see as well, has alpha channel equals to false, so I can compress to false. Let's save this one and close it. And now let's go to the normal material. Again, we have a SAS alpha channel false, so I can compress without alpha. And then select the normal map. Perfect, safe, and close. And finally, we have the roughness. Again, has alpha channel is false, so I can compress without alpha. And I can leave the rest as it is. Let me check the different channels. Let's save and close. Okay, so we have all these four textures. Now let's create our material. So I will go to right-click material and material. Let's call this one material displacement of rock displacement or disp. Now let's open this material. I'm going to place the material here beside a project 
And now I'm going to take all these materials with the exception of the displacement. And I'm going to drag them to the materials, let fold them on the over the materials. And now let's make the connections that these should have. The first texture, which is the diffuse, will be connected from the RGB to the base color. The second, let me move this in order. The second, which is the roughness, for the roughness, as you know, when we get into the roughness, we can have it just with one of the channels. So as you can see, this channel will be the same one, like this one, as this one. So in my case, I'm going to take, let's say the green, to the roughness. And for the normal, there will be the combination of RGB. So I'm going to connect the normal here. Now let's apply, save, and we can close the material at this moment. In fact, we can use this material that we created and we can place it on a surface like this one, and it's looking very good. The problem is when we get close to this, and then we see that it lacks some dimension, something that goes up and shows us what will be the dimension of this place. So for presenting this example, we're going to use the modeling tool of Unreal. So this floor, first of all, I am going to delete it. And then I'm going to open in the toolbar the option of modeling. So this is the, the new presentation. Don't be afraid about this one. You can combine it as whatever you want. I think this is a very good way of presenting things. And in my case, I'm going to add a rectangle someplace around here. And let's make this rectangle 100 by 100. And, but I'm going to add a couple of subdivisions. Let's say 10 subdivisions by 10 subdivisions. And yeah, I think this is something close to what I want to, to have. So we're talking about a rectangle of one meter around. Yes, one meter exactly. In fact, not around, it's exactly one meter. As we did a moment ago, if I decided to take this object, this static mesh and apply this material, you can see that, yeah, the material looks good when we go from the top, but when we are beside it, then we lack dimensions. And this is where the displacement is going to have a fantastic value. Usually the displacement was work on tools like Blender. And I hate to work to another, to other tools to uh, do this. And Unreal has the solution today for us. First, we have to be sure that we selected the object. So here it is, we have it selected. And then we go to Deform and select the option of Displace. If you see by default, you have here a displacement, but it's not exactly the displacement that we are looking for. This is because at this moment, the type of displacement that we have is the purling noise. This is not the one we want. Now, click here, and then you have several other options. In my case, I want to select the Texture 2D Map. Excellent. And once we select the Texture 2D Map, we have an option here to the left to set what will be the displacement map that we are going to use. And here it is. We have the displacement map. It is the one that says disp. So I'm going to drag this displacement map here. And now you see magically how you create a displacement for this. If you want to create more elements of displacement, you can maybe move the intensity of displacement that you have here, or you can reduce it as well. I think it's a matter of what, how much displacement you are looking for uh, to achieve in your game. So you can play with different values until you reach the value that uh, you are looking for. And the other thing is related to the subdivisions. Remember, of course, that the less subdivisions you use, the less rendering time this is going to take. Let's say that at this moment, I took the subdivisions of four and let's accept it. Now, let's say at the same time that after I do this, I have some issues of performance because of the rendering. It's still taking too much. In fact, you can see how this is going to look by going here to Lit and select the wireframe. And here you can see a bit of the 
geometry that this is generating. So you can you can play a bit with these values. But now you have even a better option, which is in Unreal Engine 5. Once you have your static mesh set, you can find your static mesh here and it will be on the folder where you decided to save it. And now let's say that I want to use Nanite. If you decided to use Nanite, which is the new tool of Unreal, this will improve the rendering process of this. And at the end, what you want is that improvement to create a better experience for the player. So this is an example of how you can create the displacements of material. And now let's say that, oh, let's put some of this platforms one behind another. Let's say Alt to move another one to one side, like here. Let me move this one by 100 to make things a bit faster. Okay, and now let's select these three and move them. Okay, one, that could be. And let's move them another one like here. Excellent. And now let's place the, let's go to the player and I'm going to move it. I should have moved the, the platforms to that position. Yeah, we can move the, the player as well. Let me place it in a position like this one. Excellent. And start the game. Excellent. There you go. And if you go to the details, you can see the displacement of this material. And it's a lot more realistic and it's looking really amazing. Thanks for tuning in today. And remember, the journey to mastering Unreal Engine 5 is all about exploration and experimentation. We hope you found this tutorial valuable in your creative endeavors. If you enjoy it, give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Woodland.com to receive coupons for our courses and free content to help you in the path as game creator. Until next time, happy creating.